for those who haven't met, two for about e, the first time, and Patty Toops, who's a really good one, thank you. Super you got a taste of Test Rugby last week, but how excited are you for the challenge of, of starting the first Test for the All Blacks? Um, my excitement levels at the moment, not really high. Um, just trying to you know, focus on my role leading into training this afternoon and I'm sure later in the week my um, excitement levels will start to rise. So, yeah. Patrick, how can you best help Tupo and, and I suppose being the senior this year? You what sort of role do you take on to, to help people out there? Um, I think first and foremost, anyone who comes into this team, is, there's a reason why they're here. And I think for myself, um, I don't need to do much. He, he knows what he has to do. He just has to focus on, on his role, as he said. Um, it's my job to make sure I do my job to, to make sure he, his role is as easy as possible. So um, in that aspect, I want to make sure I play well. I know we're locking together, um, first time starting together, so I think that's quite exciting and um, I think the energy that Toops will bring, I think that'll be quite stellar for him in his first start. Has it been a whirlwind year for you, having started outside the Super Rugby and then got a call up and then uh, making the All Blacks and making your debut last week to now starting at, at Eden Park, has that been a, a whirlwind experience for you? Yeah, it's pretty crazy um, to be building um, timber fences on my old man during uh, lockdown level three to um, de um, debut for the Chiefs as well. And then yeah, I was just pretty stoked to be a part of this team. Yeah. What was the experience for you like last week making your first debut? Um, it's just a dream come true. Um, it's come so fast as well. Um, uh, there's a bit of nerves and um, excitement. Um, heaps of emotions going through me. Um, but it was just pretty stoked to get out there and um, play Test 40. So, yeah. And what sort of changes for you this week from preparing to come off the bench to, to going straight into it from the outset? Well, I guess, uh, just like I said before, just to nail my role, do my part um, for the team, and yeah. Patrick, you're a, you're a guy who prides yourself on your physicality and that side of the game. After last week, and I guess even going back to the World Cup semi, you know what what's needed this week to kind of re-establish that part of the All Blacks game that's been missing a little bit, you know, in those two big games. Uh, I'll probably speak for myself here, but yeah, you're spot on. Uh, that physicality, we need that. I think it's it's more so every minute and consistent. Um, you know, Aussie probably fair to say that um, they wanted it more and uh, for us um, there's a standard that we need to hold high in terms of physicality and what we bring as a as a forward pack. Certainly at test level it starts and finishes with a forward pack and um, I think at up front we have to do our job and that needs physicality and needs to be dominant and um, obviously it starts with us. I think the job opportunity now is for us to stamp our mark there. And we, we specifically, do you think, you know, that the Aussies kind of beat you to the punch a bit last week? Was it around the breakdown and around? Yeah, the I, like we had a, we had a pretty solid set piece. We had a solid scrum, solid line out, and a solid maul. And I think off the field, it's more so us getting up off the ground quicker, um, hitting those breakdowns with more venom and sort of having slight more aggression. I'd, I'd say we've, we've had our structures, they're in place now, they're solid there. But I think it's time for us to actually get some punch into it now. The coach was talking about, you know, your family, you were first elected into the squad, they liked your physicality and the physical side of your game. So is that something you really look to hone in on this week and, and really impose yourself physically on the Wallabies pack? Yeah, I guess so. Um, just as Paddy said, that we just need to be physical. So I've got to do the best I could do to be physical on the field. So whether that's carry or clean up, so yeah. Bit of pressure off you, uh, Paddy, because Paddy Sabi is such a good line out option. We've seen we last week getting a lot of ball, so it doesn't mean it's just down to you two constantly. If you can mix things up. Sorry, repeat. Sorry, Adi Sabi has been yeah. thrown a lot through last week, so yeah. it makes a wee bit of pressure off you two guys, perhaps at line out time. Yeah, I think we have some pretty uh, fast and talented jumpers across the line out. Um, 
Adi, he's quite explosive, and then you have Shannon, who's quite explosive as well, and light in the air, fast through the air. Then you have some tall timber like Tupou there uh, in the middle of the line-out. Gives us plenty of options to win the ball wherever we want, um, wherever we need to help get us you know, a good strike off, off line-out. Whatever the All Blacks tell you, the Wallabies at Eden Park is always a lot spoken about the stadium. You've played there more than most. Does it feel like a special place for you? Uh, a special place in terms of being home for me, yeah. Um, but I think any time we pull on the jersey or anywhere we pull on, pull on the jersey, it's it's special. Um, it doesn't change now that we're at, we're at Eden Park. I think the occasion's still the same. It's still a test match, and uh, we have to live up to that. Patrick, do you draw anything from last year? Coming from Perth, Dean Park, and lost by 21 in Perth, and similar sort of things, beaten to the punch physically, and all that sort of thing. You're obviously were able to make those adjustments. Do you draw on that, or is that dangerous to kind of expect that to happen again? Yeah, very dangerous to expect that to happen again. Uh, we can certainly learn from it. Um, we had that lesson last year, and I think each lesson is different. I think last last week we had a draw. There's some things that didn't go right for us, and I think we're. We're in a place now that we're able to learn from that and um, try to implement that now, halfway through the week, and uh, it's time to build. Uh, we're still building, but I think this time around, I think both squads are in that position, so I think that makes the test match even more tough, and um, I think that's what a test match is. Yeah. Last wishes? Let your family know that you'll be starting this week, and are they going to be coming along on, on Sunday over? Yeah, I told my family. Um, pretty sure the whole South Auckland's going to be coming, but um, <laughs> yeah, I told them, and they were just pretty stoked for me. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll be screaming out on the on the side too. Yeah, pretty excited for that. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.